Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be going through my favorite SH figures. So I did think about doing a top 10 list for this, but there's more than 10 figures that I wanted to mention. And some of them are not just a single figure, it's sort of a group of figures. Um, so I thought I'd just do a my favorite list, sort of free format, just going through the ones that I like the most. Uh, the one I show probably in the top three will possibly be my top favorite. Um, we'll see as we get to that. Uh, and I might, might split this into two different parts just because of how many I'm talking about. Um, but let's get into this. And the first ones I'm talking about are the Daft Punk SH figures. So these are both really nice. I like how they've got the shiny helmets. I mean, you can see the reflection of the ring light in my phone in there um, on both of them, really. And I especially like the detail on this one with all the wiring at the back. Um, and I've been actually trying to pick these up for quite a while. Um, then when they s announced that they were splitting up, um, I thought I had to get them pretty quickly because if I didn't, they were going to shoot up in price. Uh, and they did, so I did have to pay a bit more than I would have done. Um, but I don't really mind because they're great figures, posability-wise. They look, I mean, they look exactly like the people. And I like having these, um, you'll see actually with all the figures I'm showing now, they're all sort of tokusatsu figures. Uh, and I like having these guys on that shelf too because they kind of fit in with that. They They do look like they could be fighting in giant robots or fighting some weird alien monsters so i kind of like that about them and i have them in that sort of action fighting pose um to go with them so yeah i, I like these figures a lot and i definitely think they're worth picking up if you can find them for a decent price because they're they're fun figures uh, and it's cool to have some figures of real people so i like that about them um up next i have my Kamen Rider Zero One figures. Um, so this guy I've actually done a review of. Um, you might have seen that. Uh, if not, you can go and watch it or don't bother because I'll just briefly talk about him here. Uh, and I did bring one of his other forms in. This is the Assault Hopper. Is it Assault Hopper or Rising Hop? Assault Hopper, I think it's called. Um, just another form of his. And I think, again, these are two really nice figures. Um, but the reason I'm talking about these is because they do have one feature that I really like. Um, so the one on the left, the Rising Hopper, his original form, uh, this is actually a special upgrade head from SHF, SHF Upgrade. It's not official or anything, but as you can see, if I put a magnet to his head, his eyes will light up. Um, so I think that's just a cool feature. No, it's not the official one, though, so that's not part of the original one. Um, but if I do turn these lights down and turn the original lights off, and then if I shine a UV light on them, I do have a white background, so it's not the best, but you can see that these guys light up in that. And that's just a really cool feature. So that's why these guys made it onto this list. I definitely recommend these if you are a fan of this series. Um, and even if you're not, they're just really cool, good looking figures. So if you're into that, definitely pick these up. Okay, so for my next one, I have the Thunder Brothers or the Crimson and Navy Ranger. I think they might be known as in the Ninja Power Rangers Ninja Storm. Um, these are quite old SH figures. I think they're from 2015 or 16, uh, but they really hold up um, against some of the ones that are coming out this year because they have great posability. Um, they come with loads of accessories, which I actually find a lot of the newer ones don't. So I really appreciate that about these two. Um, but th and this is actually a two pack figure. So um, I, they'd, you have to talk about both of them together. Um, but yeah, I just think they look really cool. I have a lot of Power Rangers, um, not fig arts necessarily, lining collection. I do have some fig arts, um, but of the f all the fig arts I have, these are definitely my two favorite and definitely the ones that I want to talk about. So um, if you're a fan of this series, you can pick these up for about 10,000 yen these days. Um, you do have to be patient though, because they don't pop up that often given that they are old figures. Um, but yeah, they they just look really nice and they still have that sort of Beetle vibe like Kamen Rider do. So I'm a big fan of that. I like these a lot. Next up, we have Kamen Rider Double Cyclone Joker. That might not be his right name or in the right order. It's, it is that, but it might be in a different order. I've actually not seen this one, uh, but I just picked up this figure because it's such a cool design. I've actually found more and more as I collect that I really like asymmetrical designs, and you'll see that in some of the other ones that I show here. Um, and this is just a really good example of one because he's split right down the middle. You've got one side green and one side black. So I just think it looks cool. Uh, <laughs> one thing that is just sort of a bonus with this, when you go and change the hands, you know which one goes on which hand because they're completely different colors. Um, so it just makes changing hands a lot easier. It's not really 
a feature or anything, but I just think it's something worth mentioning. Um, he does come with this, uh, it's kind of like a scarf. I'm not actually sure what it was because I said I haven't uh, watched the show, which is on a ball hinge. So you can move this about to uh, add some dynamism. And um, it comes with an extra one, which is about this much longer. Um, so if you have him in sort of a jumping down pose, that works really well. So yeah, I just think he's a great common Rider figure. I, you will see a lot of those in here, but this is one worth mentioning. Uh, and this is one from the Shinkocho Seiho line. I think I said that correctly, uh, which is translates as true bone carving. I, I'm not sure if that's the right translation, but that's the one you see when you translate it in Google, uh, which I think when they do the molds for these, they actually use a um, scaled down skeleton so they can actually make it look like it's a human when they do the mold. Uh, as if there was an actual human in that suit. Uh, I think that's how they do it. Don't quote me on that. But yeah, I just, I like this figure because of that. So that's him. Okay, coming up next, we have the Beetleborg figures. Uh, so these are another ones that I picked up quite recently, a few months ago. And these are some of my, they were instantly some of my favorites just because of how cool they look. They do look like they're actually made of metal, even though everything on there is completely plastic. And these are the three main characters from the show. Uh, you've got Blue Beat, Blue Beat here, Reddle, and uh, G Stag. Uh, but my favorite one of these is actually Black Beat, or you might know him as Shadow Borg from the American version of the show. Um, he just looks so cool, I think. You can tell he's a villain from his design, which is really cool. But I like that he comes with this accessory here, which is um, he's es essentially got a claw in this show, and he can launch it from his uh, from his wrist. Uh, and it's really cool that they've managed to incorporate that into an accessory for a toy. Um, and then this is just on wire, so you can form it into sort of any shape as you want. And however you pose him, he actually looks like he's sort of mid-combat or really dynamic. And it's just really cool. And on top of that, you've just got so much detail in him. Um, you can see his sort of... I can't remember what this is supposed to be, to be honest, but it looks really cool. Um, his eyes are under there. I'm not sure if you can see them well in this lighting. Um, but if you shine a... If you take a photo with Flash, you can see right through those and see his uh, eyes in there. Um, he does come with an accessory there, his gun, but I haven't included that here because um, it falls out sometimes. But I mean, yeah, you can just see that this guy has so much detail sculpted into him. So he's definitely the standout one of these, but they all are amazing figures. So again, if you're a fan of this, if you were a fan of this show as a kid, these definitely do that justice and it will make you feel like rewatching it, even though it's pretty trashy nowadays. And I've got more Kamen Rider figures now. These are the Kamen Rider Kuga ones. Um, so on the right, we have his base form. Um, on the left, it's his... Now, I can't remember all his form names because it's all like Ultimate Mighty, Amazing Mighty, Amazing Fighting, or something like that. I think this is the Amazing Ultimate form, the black one here. Um, and I've got all of his um, Shinkocho Seiho ones for these, uh, but I just picked these two because they're the sort of most representative. Um, the one in red is actually the decade version, so his armor is a bit shinier. You can see the reflection here. Um, his standard version is a matte finish, uh, a bit more like this one. I think it's matte, it might just be um, a bit more dull, uh, but I picked this one up because I just, I like that it's shiny and it makes him stand out a little bit more than the others, um, even though they're all different colors. Um, it's just as the main character, I think it's pretty cool to have him shining. Um, and yeah, I, I like this one a lot because it's very, it's one of the classic ones. Um, and I am a big fan of sort of the crazy designs that we have nowadays. But I, I do like to sort of go back to the original style, um, which is why I like the Rising Hopper one that I mentioned earlier. I'll just bring him back. Um, so this is a classic design. Uh, sorry, a new character, but it's back to the classic design. So, I mean, you can kind of see they're both both got those red eyes, both based on, I think they're both based on the same beetle or whatever grasshopper that it was. Well, this guy's based off a grasshopper, this one off a beetle, but both, both bug based. Um, so I think that's pretty cool. And I, yeah, they're really nice figures, great posability. Uh, again, they're molded as if they were from a human. So yeah, definitely great figures and worth picking up. Up next, I'm not really sure what number this is anymore. I've not been tracking, uh, but this is Space Sheriff Sharavan um, from the Space Sheriff series. So I do have two others, Gavan and Shida, but I'm not a huge fan of them. Uh, they are good, but they just seem to be a lot loose. Um, but this guy just looks really cool because he's got the metallic plastic look where um, 
you can see how reflective it is, like the Daft Punk helmets. Uh, and that is something that I just really like on these. It makes them stand out a lot on the shelf. And then if, you, if you're if you in the room with the lights off, you can always see this one catching what little light there is um, and reflecting as you walk past it. So it's just really cool. It is uh, one of the early SHFs. Well, I say early. It's from, I think, 20... Might be around 2015 as well. Um, but I just... I mean, I think it's... You c it is an old figure, so it does come with some flaws. It doesn't have as good posability as you see nowadays. Uh, but I think it holds up pretty well still. Um, and I am a fan of the design. We don't see this shininess as much these days. Um, I do have one of the newer figures with the shininess that I'll show later. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to highlight this guy because he's a cool looking guy. So yeah, that's uh, Space Sheriff Sharavan for you. For my next Kamen Rider figure, I chose Kamen Rider Wizard. And um, again, this is one from the sh a show I've not seen, but this design is just really cool. It's one of my favorite designs of all the Kamen Riders. Um, so as soon as I saw the figure, I was like, okay, I have to pick it up. Um, and the one thing, that one thing about this that surprised me is the um, clothes goods, because I I'd actually wasn't sure that it had clothes goods when I first saw it. Um, and I'm not, I, I'd never been a fan of these before. I think it kind of, almost makes it look more like a doll more than a figure. Um, but I think it works so well on this guy because um, it just makes him look like he's in a dynamic pose as if there's wind blowing or something. So I think that's really cool. Um, and then he's got loads of cool features that I like. So his power is based off um, these rings that he has here. And then they're all, they all clip into his belt here and you can actually take these out and then clip them into his ring. So it's just a cool feature that it comes with. Um, I am never gonna change them probably because if I do, I will be probably lose one of them. Um, and I think he, yeah, he has it on the other hand too. Um, so yeah, it's just a cool figure with a cool feature that I think is worth talking about. So yeah, if you like the Kamen Rider Wizard show, definitely one of the best Kamen Rider figures out there. So definitely pick this up. Um, and if you're just into cool figures, another one definitely worth picking up. Uh, next, I've got another Power Rangers figure, or actually I shouldn't say Power Rangers because this guy never made an appearance in Power Rangers. Uh, he was only in Super Sentai and it's Akaranga, Akaranger, I'm not sure how it's pronounced, uh, from the very first Super Sentai series. Um, so I actually picked this guy up recently probably only a few weeks ago. Uh, and the thing that really sold it for me was you can see the dots. I hope you can see that on camera, the dots on his visor. Uh, and that's because when they actually made this costume in the, back in the 70s, they didn't have the sort of technology they have nowadays. So the visor was actually just, I think it was cardboard or, or some cutout um, just with loads of dots perforated in it. So he could hardly actually see. He could only see through those tiny holes. And they've actually incorporated that into the mold of this figure. I just thought it was really funny. So I was like, okay, this is definitely something I need to pick up for my Sentai shelf. Um, and on top of that, he comes with cool accessories. He's got his bow staff. Um, he also comes with sort of a folded up version of this. Um, he comes with two different belts. This is one has got sort of the jetpack. Well, it's not on his not on his back, but sort of boosters and then his weapon in his holster. So yeah, he, uh, the cape is also detachable. So he was pretty cheap as well. I think he was about uh, three and a half thousand yen, I think, something like that, which is about 35 US dollars. So for one of these figures, I think that's really cool and um, well, really good price. And yeah, was, I'm happy with this guy. So another one that's good for the Sentai shelf. And up next for another Kamen Rider set, we have the ones from Kamen Rider Zio. Uh, we have Kamen Rider Zero Trinity here and Kamen Rider Waz. Um, so I just included Waz here because he's my favorite of sort of the standard characters. Um, I just really like his design. He's the only one that comes with a weapon. Uh, but the metallic silver on there looks cool combined with the neon green. Um, and then you've got some sort of lavender highlights in there. So I just think it's a cool design overall. Um, he's got these ride watches. Um, and those stickers weren't from the original one, that's from SHF Upgrade 2, but I think it just adds a little bit more to the figure. So those are worth getting if you are, if you are getting these. Um, but the main one I wanted to talk about was Kamen Rider Zero Trinity, um, because this is just such a crazy design, and it really, it does work well as a toy, which you wouldn't think it does when you had seen this just as a costume. Um, I mean, it's got the standard guy's face three times, I just think that's really cool. And it's it's got some action features. I don't know if they're action features, but you can see the uh, eyes on his weapon can rotate. I just like that. I don't can't really remember what that does, but I just think it's cool. Um, and then you've he's actually got the helmets of uh, Gaze, 
was who we just saw and then Zio the original form there too so yeah really wacky design that I'm a big fan of and whether you're again whether you're a fan of the show or not if you just want cool figures on your shelf get this guy all right so we're into the final three now and it's not my top three um it just happened to be the order I did and I didn't want to do loads of Kamen Riders in a row so I sort of split them between different ones um but so it's not my top three, but it definitely would be in my top 10. Uh, but I have the Wind Spectre from Metal Heroes here. Um, and these wouldn't have made the list if it wasn't for the upgrade kit. Um, so I'll just separate them a bit. Um, but if you see for Wind Spectre Fire, is that Wind Spectre Fire? That's his name, yeah. Um, so this pack on his back doesn't come with him at all. Um, this extension claw for his weapon doesn't come, uh, nor do these canisters. It's actually only this bit here. Um, so it just adds so much to the figure. Um, same if you look at Baikal. Um, again, backpack doesn't come with him. This claw doesn't either. So it just really adds that much more to them. And when you have these on the shelf, they really stand out against the rest because they're so huge. Um, especially, I mean, look at how bulky this is. It sticks out more than the width, the th width or thickness of his own body. Um, and he can more or less still stand. So yeah, it's just really cool. Um, another thing with this guy, I probably would need to do a review to talk about these uh, in full um but yeah his wings also double up as his shield so there's really a lot to unpack with these guys um and i won't get into it in this video uh, if you do want to see that let me know but yeah these are just really cool sh figures um and again they're from the metal hero series as you've seen with some of the other ones but yeah um these are all quite affordable they're just quite hard to find so if you are if, i mean if you like the look of these i don't really think there's going to be many fans watching because it's i don't think it's that well known to be honest i don't really know what it is um but yeah again just something definitely worth picking up okay and the second last one and definitely my last kamen rider one is the kamen rider kabuto ones uh, so i do only have his hyperform and then dark kabuto um, and I know before someone says that Dark Kabuto shouldn't have both of these in his hand because they're the same weapon. Uh, but I just thought the pose was cool. So I thought, you know what, I've got the accessories. I may as well use them instead of putting it in a box and never using it again. Um, but these are, again, part of the Shinkocho Seho line. And they're just, I mean, this guy here is just so cool. Um, he, he did cost quite a lot because I had to get this second hand because I only got into the line recently. Uh, but he's, of the expensive ones I've bought, definitely the one who was most worth it because there's just so much to him so this chest piece both pieces here um, his arm pieces leg pieces these back pieces and the wing don't come on him originally um, I'll actually put a photo up right now of how he looks out of the box um, and then you can sort of fit this all together to put him into his like true high perform uh, mode and it's just so cool and his sword as well which does double up as sort of a gun as well comes with lots of pieces too so you've got the dragonfly to put on there uh i can't remember what the other two insects are but there's one on the end there and then this one here and it's just just a really awesome figure you know I, I probably should stop saying if you're a fan, if you should get this. And if you're not a fan, it's still a really good figure. Um, but if there was one common Rider figure I was going to recommend and com with price aside, because this guy can go up to about 30,000 yen, this is definitely the one to get. If you, I mean, price aside, yeah, definitely the one to get because you can actually kind of play with him as well. So he is kind of a toy because you get to put all these pieces together and he just looks so cool, especially with those wings. So yeah, definitely my best Kamen Rider figure. So get him if you're a fan. <laughs> and for my last one, my favorite SH figure that I have currently, I don't think it's going to be beat anytime soon, is Golden Knight Garrow. Um, this guy really looks like he's stood there in a suit of armor. I mean, you can see the light reflecting as I rotate him. Uh, I probably will do a review of this because I, I was completely blown away when I got this figure. And he still is available at around retail price, which is about 9,000 yen, which, I mean, that's about 90 US dollars. And for a figure this good looking, you definitely need to pick him up. I'll bring him up closer and you can just see all the sculpt work on his face there and all the light reflecting on it. It's just, every time I look at this, I'm blown away and I can't believe it's it's just a toy. I mean, you can see how small it is compared to my hand. Whoops. But yeah, I, I just, I am often left speechless by this guy because I 
can never believe how he looks. He's just so awesome. He really does look like he's there in a suit of armor. And, you know, to top it all off, his articulation is actually pretty good considering how kind of bulky his armor is. This all moves around to give him some... Obviously, he doesn't have the best articulation in the world, but this just moves around um, quite a bit just to give him that extra bit of range. Um, I think that's all that really does need to move around. His legs aren't that inhibited. So, yeah, if if I was to recommend any figure to someone, if they just said, tell me what the best figure for under $100 that I can get right now is, this is definitely the one that I would say. So... And again, I don't. I've only watched one episode of Garo, and uh, it was quite slow. Cool premise, I think. I won't get into it. Cool premise. Check it out if you want to. But just, yeah, I have no words. You can see how cool this is and make the decision for yourself. Um, so that's going to wrap it up. This is quite a long video. Sorry about that, guys. I, I might have. Had, I might. This might be the second part. Uh, but it, yeah, if you enjoyed it, let me know. If you want to see more SH figure art stuff, um, well, you've seen the best of it. I don't know what else to show. So thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next one.